hey y'all hey so today i wanted to do a what's on my iphone 12 pro video um if you haven't checked it out or seen it already a couple months ago i did an iphone 12 pro unboxing um but with summer right around the corner i've been thinking about just changing up the aesthetic of all that's going on on my phone and just you know like trying something new but before i did that i wanted to show you all what it currently looks like oh I realized that I've never ever ever officially introduced myself to this channel. So if you're new here, I'm Mayoshi and welcome to my channel. So this is my iPhone. It's the iPhone 12 Pro 128 gigabyte. I just have a clear case on it. Nothing crazy. But I think I want to buy a new case soon. And I have like a tempered, tempered glass. Oop tempered glass screen protector on there so yeah we'll just go ahead and get started my home screen is just a picture of my little cousin nothing too crazy this is my home screen i have everything sorted by colors and you'll see once i start swiping through and also just ignore the amount of messages i have people on tiktok already came at me for my um my unread messages i'm not even gonna get into the nitty gritty here but basically i'm in a lot of group chats and we'll just leave it there so yeah anyway i have the scanner app on here um i need that for class typically like for the most part most of my classes always want us to scan pdfs and i use this a lot before i got my ipad uh because i had no other way to like scan my documents really unfold this is let's see let's pull it up I usually use this for templates, like if it's a friend's birthday and I want to post on my Instagram story, or if I want the background to be white, like if I'm posting something on my story and I'm posting a picture and I want the background to be white and like write little words on it. I don't know, this just helps me make my stuff more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so yeah, that's unfold. Obviously Amazon, I'm always shopping on Amazon, but I typically do it on my computer but I also like the app because I'm able to track exactly like where my package is and like see it on the little map and see you know how many stops it is away yeah so boom second screen so this is my black screen obviously TikTok that's probably the app that I use the most out of any other social media platform if you don't follow me on TikTok, go ahead and follow me. Go follow both my accounts. You can follow the family account and my personal account. My fake nose ring just <laughs> fell out. <laughs> wow, I was really not intending on that happening. But now, all of y'all know that <clears throat> my nose ring is fake. I don't think I would ever get a nose ring. I feel like it's a lot of maintenance. Uh, but yeah, let's get back into it. So yes, I have Clubhouse on here. I never use it. I literally never use it. Um, and then I have UNUM or UNUM. I'm not sure if there's a certain way to pronounce it, but this is an app that you can basically use to sort of like see what you want your Instagram to look like. It like helps you make your stuff more I guess, quote unquote, aesthetically pleasing. So I always use this to see what my page is going to look like before I actually make a post. Um, let's see, now the yellow screen. I don't have much on the yellow screen because I have too many yellow apps. Um, Snapchat, I don't know. It's either I'm getting older or uh, I don't know what another reason could be, but I really do not use Snapchat anymore. I'll post on there every now and then because I do have some, you know, friends who mainly use Snapchat, but I don't know, it's just a lot to be going through people's stories and like posting and just, I don't know, I just don't really use Snapchat anymore. Um, okay, the blue screen. This is probably one of my favorite screens, especially the quote that I have on there. And I don't know if y'all haven't noticed yet, I have many inspirational quotes on pretty much all of my pages, you know, just as a reminder for myself to keep pushing so yes here's my blue screen nothing crazy on here oh i do have canva on here it looks like it uninstalled my phone does that sometimes i guess if it feels my storage is getting to a um a point of almost becoming full 
it uninstalls the app. But I do use Canva, but typically on my computer. I use that to design my different cards. I've used it to, I've used it for my resume. I used Canva to create all of my thumbnails for my iPad. And I'm gonna make a what's on my iPad video right after I make this one. What else? I don't know, it really comes in handy. I really like it and it's free, so. Um, Zoom. I use Zoom if I'm out and I'm not home. Um, can't get to my computer, so boom. Oh. oh, something's a little off. Let me, I didn't even realize this widget was over here. What happened? Okay, okay, that's cool. Oh, yikes. This is low key. I don't wanna say embarrassing, but like, cause it's not really embarrassing. I just like didn't anticipate all this happening. Either way, that's, now all my stuff is moving around. Oh my gosh. Hold on y'all, let me fix this. <laughs> all right, sorry for the little mishap, but I'm back. I removed Zoom and Canva. So yeah, that's what the blue was supposed to look like. All right, so now we have the greens. Um, green's kind of empty. I don't have a lot of green apps. WeChat I use to keep in contact with my host parents. Um, I studied abroad in China back in, I don't even remember what year it was, but it was the summer after my sophomore year of high school. I use WhatsApp really to not communicate with my parents, but like if we want to send photos back and forth or videos back and forth, I send it to them there because they don't have iPhones. So I use that just so that the quality doesn't change. And then Spotify, I absolutely love Spotify. I don't have Apple Music. I don't know what the whole Apple Music Spotify war is. At the end of the day, like whatever music app you have, if you like that, then that's what's for you. But yeah, no Apple Music for me. Let's see. So here's my purple screen. This is one of my favorites because I love the rocks and I also love the picture of the bubbles. And also this quote, results happen over time, not overnight. Work hard, stay consistent, and be patient. And I think I made that with Canva. Like a lot of these quotes that you're seeing, I did make with Canva so that it can match the color scheme. But yes, Life360, I have that. My parents have that. And we also have a group with um, one of our cousins as well. But it's a pretty good app. I like used it one time when my parents were gone from the house for a long time and I was like oh y'all aren't back yet and anyway I hit like 360 and my dad was at Chick-fil-A how you gonna go to Chick-fil-A and not tell me and then Lotus Lantern so I have LED lights going across my room and this is the app that I use to turn the lights on if I don't feel like getting the remote and it's Bluetooth connected. It comes with so many colors. It's a dope app. I love it. And you can also like play music from here. Only thing I haven't figured out is you can't play your own music. Like you have to play the music that's on the app. So yeah, there's purple and boom, red screen. Basic stuff. I don't really use anything on here other than Clue. What's Remini? Oh, Remini is a really dope app like if you have a low quality image <clears throat> you can put it in Remini and it basically enhances the quality of your photo like times 10 um and you get to do like five photos every 24 hours or something like that I think it is before you have to pay um spark post so again another app that I have on my phone that I typically use on my computer I've never really used Spark on my phone. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and delete it right now. But I use Spark to make all of my um, YouTube thumbnails. And then Fonto, let me just delete that. I don't even know what, what in the world, what in the world I use Fonto for. Oh, I think when I was trying to make my um, YouTube intro, I use Fonto. So yeah, boom, that's red. All right, now we have our orangish, purplish, I don't know. It's supposed to be my orange screen, or like neon orange screen or like peach color screen. I really don't know. 
but I feel like all these colors go together. So I have Mojo, Instagram, and Jotform. Jotform I use for my tutoring services and for my tie-dye. Mojo, um, I think this is another kind of template thing, like Unfold, yeah. This is another template thing. And then Instagram. I don't use Instagram as much as I used to. However, I do get on there to post every now and then and sometimes i take on these a lot of opportunities that are out there for college students where you can post and you can get paid so yeah and that's it that's those are all of my screens um and yeah so yeah i'm not sure what kind of look i'm going for next but i'm thinking neutral colors stick to like the beiges and the browns kind of like what's on my ipad which i'm Super excited to do that video because I love the aesthetic of my iPad. But yeah, I just haven't had time to like sit down and figure out what it is that I want to do. Uh, just with classes and stuff. But now that we're in the last week of classes and the finals are soon and then I'm going to graduate. I'm going to have a little time on my hands. So I'll probably make a video of me redoing my home screens. Anyway, if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time. Ryan Little. <laughs>